Welcome to this guide to rigging the Polcam medical system. Please note that not every rig is the same. Different customers may have different configurations depending on their requirements. The Polcam medical rig comes in two Pelly 1770 flight cases. One to hold the rig and one for support equipment such as your tripod, autopod and accessories. Starting with the tripod box, unload the dolly and autopod leg. Mount the autopod onto the dolly. Ensure all four screws are fastened securely. Before proceeding any further, level the tripod head so the bubble is fully central and disable the pan and tilt lock on the head to avoid causing any damage during rigging. Now open the main box. Remove the back and carefully mount to the head. When you do this, ensure the levelling bubble is at the front so it can easily be seen. Ensure the paddle is vertical and lock it into place. Take the full length carbon fibre pole from the case, hold it vertically and drop the head and camera control cables down the inside. Repeat with the elbow. At this point we recommend you support the system with the rigging stand, spreading the legs to the full width and put the velcro strap around the elbow. You can now mount the half length carbon fibre pole and move to the camera and head. Pass the cables through the hole and secure the head onto the end of the short pole using the rotating screw. Connect the head control cable to the head, lining up the red dot on the cable with the red dot on the port and connect the Cat5 cable to the rear of the camera. Now go to the rear of the system and pull back any excess slack in the Ethernet cable, ensuring that you have enough slack to perform any desired movement. You can now attach your power supply. This may be a battery or an AC supply unit, depending on your configuration. Attach the RovoCam interface unit to the left side of the paddle and attach the RovoCam RX unit using the Velcro onto the right hand side of the paddle. Now attach the monitor clamp to the rig, passing all the cables under the strain relief inside the clamp. Mount the monitor to the clamp using the quick release plate and connect the SDI audio and power cables as shown. Now connect the VariZoom remote to the Zoom remote cable and then mount onto the boom, again allowing for proper strain relief. Mount the unit at an angle that is comfortable to operate. Now mount the joystick. Firstly line up the red dot on the connector with the red dot on the port. Then place the joystick onto the pole. Using the Velcro, strap the unit in place firmly. Avoid trapping any cables by safely pushing these to the side of the joystick. At the base end of the pole cam, connect the monitor cable to output one on the RovoCam RX unit. Connect the two audio phono leads by passing them round the front of the paddle and connecting as shown. Connect power to the RovoCam RX unit from the RovoCam interface unit as shown. Connect the RS232 cable between the output of the RovoCam interface box and the input of the RovoCam RX unit. Now take the VariZoom controller cable and connect this to the top of the interface unit. You can also now power the interface unit, the Polcam head and the monitor as shown. At this point we recommend attaching the saddle bag to keep all cables safe from catching whilst also providing space to safely store any additional equipment such as a lens cap and spare drives. You can now mount the Autopod controller to the back of the system and connect the final power connection from the battery plate into the side of the unit marked down. 
Connect the cable from the leg to the opposite side of the controller and relieve any strain on the cable using the provided strain relief strap. All medical systems come with two counterweights. And whilst the system can be operated with just a single weight, we recommend using both 5 kilo weights as this will keep the back end short and ensure it doesn't take up too much space in theater. Take up the excess on the threaded bar and reattach the ostrich nut and the safety pin. Once your weights are attached, be sure to adjust your point of balance so that the system is easy to operate. Engage your friction to a comfortable setting to operate and also engage your counterbalance to the maximum. Please note you may need to bring your head level in order to do so. If you are using AC power you can now connect the cable and strain relieve it with the Autopod control cable to ensure safe operation. Ensure the correct battery plate is selected using the battery selector switch. Once booted you should see a blue light and a solid orange data light on the interface box. The orange light will start solid and then flash rapidly before turning off. The light will then flash when commands are being sent to the camera from the VeriZoom controller. You can now power your monitor with a single press of the power button on the side. At this point, check that you have zoom, focus and iris control. You can automatically white balance by zooming in on something white and pressing the R button. We strongly recommend shooting in manual zoom and focus as this will allow full control over the picture. We also recommend the use of the focus assist on the monitor. You can do this by pressing the red target button and enabling the focus assist. Set the peaking to an appropriate colour so that your focus point can be clearly seen. You can also set zebra from this same menu and we recommend setting the zebra level to 95% so you can see when the highlights in the image are approaching full exposure level. It is important not to overexpose any area of the image that is relevant to the demonstration, whilst swabs, however, may be left overexposed. You can monitor your audio from the bottom left of the screen and adjust your level to suit. A single tap of the power button on the side of the monitor will also lock the monitor to prevent accidentally pausing or stopping the recorder. You can also raise and lower the pole cam using the AutoPod controller. The joystick will give you full pan and tilt control over the head and the direction of this can be reversed using the dip switches at the base of the unit. Included in most kits is the plus one diopter for the lens, which will reduce the minimum object distance of the camera from 1.5 meters to approximately 700 millimeters. Please note, however, that with the plus one diopter, when zoomed in tightly, infinity focus is not possible. If this is required, we recommend removing the diopter. For full control of the camera settings, you can connect your laptop or tablet PC to the RovoCam RX unit using the included USB to 3.5mm cable. Using the RovoCam app, you can update camera settings such as shutter speed and aperture, control your zoom, and more importantly, change the output format of the SDI connections. We hope this tutorial has been useful and for any further information please visit our website or contact us today.